Over the last eight months, I've been visiting football matches from the top five leagues in the world with several top secret challenges to complete. And one of them involves me meeting some of the world's best football players and even Lionel Messi. So the first team we are going to watch is Liverpool. Now Liverpool had a big game and I got the chance to watch this live and direct. And the tickets I got allowed me to go pitch side. And the challenge for us to complete this time round was to meet a first team player on the pitch. So we traveled all the way up to Liverpool and we arrived at the hotel. I'm staying in the same hotel as the team players as you can see right here we have got the bus so do you know what should i just jump in because I, I might have a player i am a player basically so yeah let's go the hotel we were staying in was amazing and when we arrived liverpool had a surprise for me oh they've left me a little gift they have left me something liverpool football club you will never walk alone oh yes Oh yes, a Liverpool scarf. I love this. Now enough of me admiring the hotel. We got a VIP experience in Liverpool's Legend Lounge. And the food here was crazy. They served us like five meals before the match started. And I also got exclusive access to go onto the pitch and see the stadium before the players even arrived on the day. Oh wow, this is special. Pitch phenomenal. I'm liking this. Welcome to Anfield. Welcome to Anfield. Now in 60 minutes, I need to try and complete the challenge to meet a player. And later on in this video, we have some crazier challenges to do. So make sure you stay watching. 30 minutes later, the first team players came out to warm up. I was literally pitch side watching the Liverpool first team train. I was 10 meters away from them. Look, it's Virgil van Dijk. Right, we are here, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the players are warming up right there. Got players, look, Virgil van Dijk's right there, look at him. On the pitch, over there, literally, just over there. There's no way, if he comes in and shakes my hand, I'm gonna cry, I might cry. Okay, he's, he's trading, he's going back to trading. It's the main boss, Jurgen Klopp, scenes. We're pitch side right now. Now standing right in front of me, as you can see, was Thiago and Jurgen Klopp. Now all I had to do was go up to them and say hi to complete the challenge, but I didn't want to disturb them. However, I have a confession to make. When the players were actually coming out, I managed to speak and talk to Harvey Elliott for a brief two seconds, but my cameraman didn't get it. So you guys are gonna to listen to the clip and listen closely because I say hi to Harvey. Yes, Harvey. Come on, my bro. Good. Hey, you get it. You say. And there we go, challenge completed. I have slowed it down for you guys so you can see Harvey is right there. Now it's time we move over to Italy and head over to Juventus. It was my first time in the city of Turin and this was amazing as I was about to have the ultimate Juventus experience. We arrived in the city, got an ice cream and it was time to complete the three challenges of this trip. Challenge one, enter the Juve players locker room. Challenge two, get myself on the jumbo screen in the stadium in front of all the fans. And challenge three, get a picture with five first team players. These challenges are crazy, but we need to land in our hotel and settle and think of a plan. Ooh, aye, this is sick, man. Nah, this room, amazing. I think we got a special gift right here. A special, special gift. Enjoy your Coca-Cola Ultimate Away Supporter Experience from Juventus Partnership Team. Juventus, I love you guys so much, man. Thank you. What is it here? Three, two, one, bow! Oh! <laughs> hey, I'm a part of the team! I'm a part of the team! Forza Juve, let's go, man! I'm literally a player! Ibra, number 99, signed for Juve, let's go! This is the ultimate fan experience right here. Oh, a little... Do you know what? I can't lie. I'm actually a player. You see when they come in the tunnel with their wash bags? Yeah, they got the top on, the wash bags on, serious face. That's me. Let's go, come on. So we had our lunch and we set off to the pitch to finally try and complete our first challenge. Now for the whole day, I was super nervous as one of the challenges involved me getting a picture with the club's biggest player. But for the first challenge, we needed to enter the changing rooms of the Juventus team before their game. Right, here we go. This is it, the craziest experience ever, the Allianz Stadium tour. Let's go. So we got an all access VIP tour of the Juventus Stadium. This is crazy. It was at home, I think. I should actually play for Juventus. Right now, the experience I'm having, I think I should sign for the team. And with the VIP access, I managed to enter the changing room before the game. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. The dressing room, first team, here we go. The players are literally gonna be right here and I'm here before the game. This is insane, this is insane. Challenge one completed. Oh my God, this stadium is beautiful. This is beautiful, look at this. Look at it! Oh, nah, 
yeah, this experience is the best. Top tier, top tier. Now I had to get on that jumbo screen for challenge number two. This was gonna take a bit of work, but before we do that, we got to visit our lounge for the game. Oh my God, nah, this is unreal. This sky box is unreal. VIP box, the sky box, insane. Yeah! <laughs> After visiting our VIP box, I got treated to a six course meal of the finest Italian food you could ask for. Now, remember the jumbo screen challenge I was telling you guys about? Coca Cola had a surprise for me just before the game was about to start. We're pitch side right now. Pitch side. The game's kicking off very, very soon. We're going to see some of the players warm up. Our seats are literally just up there in the skybox. This is sick. Coca Cola, thank you. Shesley! My boy Shesley over there! Legend! Legend right there, Shesley! Coca-Cola put me pitch side for the biggest surprise yet. I was about to be on the jumbo screen. Guys, enjoy. Oh my god, I made it! I'm on the big screen! I made it! Look, I'm up there! <laughs> Hi mom! Best fan experience ever! I'm on the big screen, guys! I've made it! I've made it! Yeah! Oh, I, I'm smiling. I'm on the big screen. What's up? A million people have seen me already. Challenge two for Juventus completed and both teams were coming out on the pitch and this game was insane. But the biggest thing was about to happen after the match. Coca-Cola told me I had access to meet some of the first team players when they're leaving the game. And this is where I was going to complete challenge three, which was take five pitches with five first team players. The first player we met was Gleason Bremer. Now this guy was such a nice guy to meet, man. He seems very cool. And next up was Angel Di Maria, the guy who scored in the World Cup and won the World Cup. We also met Juan Cuadrado and FIFA legend Alexandro. And last but not least, we met Sam Illing Jr. and Paul Pogba. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, we finally met Paul Pogba and we managed to get a picture with him as well. The final challenge for Juventus has been completed. What an experience. Comment down below Paul Pogba if you're still watching. Bayern Munich was up next and I had four challenges to complete with this club. And in the airport, somehow I almost missed my flight. Gotta get their flights in five minutes. The flight is in five minutes. We need to get there quickly. In a rush. And after successfully making the flight, we touched down in Munich, Germany. And of course, we had to get a pretzel, but we don't want to get too distracted. The first challenge was for us to get on the team bus. Now, the only way I was going to do this was if I managed to get into the team's trading ground, as normally that's where they would keep their team bus. And as soon as we landed, we headed straight to Bayern's training camp before we watched their women's team play their last fixture of the season. And would you look at that? The team bus was right there. And the first challenge was completed. As you can see, I'm on the team bus. Us. On to the next one. Now the next challenge was for me to sneak my own Bayern t-shirt into the club's changing room. Now just like Juventus, we got a VIP tour of the whole stadium. And of course that included me going into their changing room. So this was the perfect chance to get my t-shirt amongst the stars. Wow. The official check. Oh my God. Man, you're a lawyer. No. We have got some top, top players in this changing room, man. Come, come take a look. Musiala, Jamal Musiala. Big ball like Alfonso Davies as well, legend. <laughs> Trudeau Moting. Guess what? They're missing one player. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Come on, Bayern. So, challenge two was completed. We got my shirt right into the Bayern Munich change room before the game started. For challenge three, I needed to sit in the seat of the manager of Bayern Munich. Now, to do this, we needed pitch side access, and Bayern Munich gave me this. This is serious. This is my first time ever being in this stadium. What an experience this is. However, there was security watching, so I needed to wait for him to walk away. And when he oh, done this, oh. my chance was on. Do you know which one um, manager sits in? Where's Thomas? Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is comfy. I'm in the technical area sitting on the bench right now. And honestly, yeah, these seats are so, so comfortable. Now I see why some of the players, why well, I just want to stay here. Woo! This is nice. This is nice. Challenge three was completed. Next up, we needed to try and meet a Bayern Munich legend that has scored a goal for the club. This chance was set. 
Before Bayern had a game to play, I managed to meet the man who scored the fastest Champions League goal ever. Right, guys, I'm joined with the main man, Roy Mackay. How are you doing today? I'm fine, are you? I'm, I'm doing brilliant. I'm doing brilliant today. You're so, close to the pitch. What do you want? Listen, this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience that I'm living right now. So there's an amazing fact that I've just found out, and that is that you have got the record for the fastest goal in the Champions League at 10 seconds. Yeah. That one. That one. What was going through your head at the moment? Like, what, what oh, that moment, not much. <laughs> <laughs> Operation Bayern Munich was complete and it was time to head over to the next stadium, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The next club to visit was Tottenham Hotspur. They have the best stadium in football right now. And for the first challenge, we had to climb the top of oh the stadium and touch the famous cockerel at the top. Oh, no, I've seen it. I've heard that I'm actually about to climb up on that cockerel all the way up there. I can see people. Can you see them? Can you see the people up there? That's about to be me. That is about to be me. I can't wait for this. As you can see right here, <laughs> the boy is ready. I'm gonna be walking across the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Crazy I know, guys, pray for me. I'm scared of heights. <laughs> now, when we was up there, I couldn't film a lot, but as you can see, this is me at the top of the stadium. So that challenge was completed, but for the next challenge, we needed to touch the match ball. Now, when I arrived at the stadium, as you can see, the ball was not on the podium. So we had to wait for the security guard to put this down onto the podium. And after 20 minutes, he finally did it. So it was now my chance to touch the match ball. Right, got the match ball here. I'm gonna place that down. Wait for the place to take that one. Let's go. Challenge two complete, and now we had two hours to burn before kickoff, and it was finally time for me to play football. First up, we had the Powerball challenge. Now, the record for this was actually 939. But because I didn't have my proper football boot, we set a record for me to be of 900. Attempt number one was all right. I smacked the ball, but my record was only 600. For attempt number two, we clocked in 700. And for the final attempt, your boy managed to get a score of 911, which gave me the record for the day. And as you can see, I even got a gift from Coca-Cola. Next is the top bin challenge. Pretty simple. All I need to do okay. is get three. it top bin. Yeah. First three, attempt, two, unfortunately, one, guys. Oh. I missed the target. For my second attempt, it just hit the edge again. But I was oh, getting yeah. the technique, and for the final attempt, your boy smashed it. Two. Top bins only to me on um, one try. For the final challenge, I needed to meet a Tottenham Hotspurs legend. And I heard rumors that legend Lenny King was about in the stadium and the mission was on to find him. We searched everywhere. We searched on the pitch to see if he was there, but I couldn't find him. We searched in the stands, but I still couldn't find him. We even searched in the interview room where the managers normally stay, but we couldn't find him. So we just decided to go up to our seat and the seats we had were amazing. We even got a five star star meal and I even met the chef that cooked my food for today. The greatest chef alive. Can you break me through what we will be devouring today please? Yeah we've got some uh, lovely fresh uh, lamb rump for you that's been cooked nice and mm. pink for you today. Nice potato cakes, uh, some nice new potatoes, some nice uh, freshly seasoned green vegetables. Okay. Now after we had our five star meal the legend Lenny King walked in and he was telling me that you guys needed to hit the like button and comment down below chicken wings. Now our final stop of the experience was going to be PSG. We headed off all the way to PSG to watch the top stars play and we had two challenges that we needed to complete number one I needed to get a selfie with Messi in the picture and the next one was for me to touch a ball that they're gonna be playing with in the match now we finally touched down in Paris and we got the ultimate fan experience from coca-cola all right we are here in Paris and it is time for us to go into my hotel room wait hold on oh my god I've got a whole lounge I've got a whole lounge. This is my living room. This is my living room. This is ah, amazing. Now this again is the ultimate fan experience, man. I, I want to see my bed. Wait, oh my gosh. Nowhere have we got a swimming pool in the hotel. We have our own swimming pool in this hotel. That is amazing. And now swinging round. Oh, all right, we've got a nice bathroom over there. We even got a bathtub. Check it out. We even have our own bathtub. This is five star. This is five star. And yes, my bedroom, aye, things we love to see. This is amazing. After we settled down in the hotel and managed to grab some lunch, and then we headed off to the PSG stadium, and I got my own custom-made PSG shirt printed off to get ready for the game. We got past security, and it was time to head into the stadium. Right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We have got an executive suite here at the Parc des Princes. We're about to head in. 
guys. It's gonna be amazing. Come on, man, let's go. Come on. Courtesy of the Coca-Cola Ultimate Fan Experience, we got VIP tickets, so we got to enter the PSG Lounge. And my goodness gracious, the food selection here was crazy. I was seeing fruits, treats, chocolate, sweets. Whatever I could think of, it was here. This experience was crazy. The PSG players are about to come up. This one's gonna be sick. We're gonna watch them train. The fans are clapping. Which meant the players were about to come outside. So we made our way all the way around to go and see the PSG players train. And I even ran into some supporters. <laughs> the boys are here. Let's go. PSG. The boys are here. Oh my God, I can see Mbappe. I can see Mbappe right there. I need to get my phone out to snap this one. So first up, it was time for me to try and touch the ball that the players were playing with on the pitch. And I got the opportunity to do so. I got to go right behind the goal while the strikers were doing their shooting warm-up drill. But behind the goal, they're going to be shooting. If any of them balls go over, I promise you, I'm going to control it, do a couple kick-ups around the world and kick it back to them. Oh my. Ooh, see that messy shot? Hit the crossbar, my God. Now after a few more attempts of me trying to catch the ball from the PSG players, Sergio Ramos took a shot and this is what happened. <laughs> oh my God. God damn. <laughs> this was my head, I touched Sergio Ramos' shot. Guys, what an experience, this is crazy. So the first challenge has been completed. Next up, we are moving over to watch the PSG players do some stretches and sprints. The PSG players were so close and this was my chance to try and get a picture with the top, top stars. I can't believe it. They're right here, the main team right here, PSG. Amazing players, let's go, it's messy. Seeing my favourite footballers train up close was amazing. I had no words to say. The PSG team are training right here. That's messy. Can you guys see? We've got Killian, Killian and Mbappe over there. Look, we've got all the stars, all the stars are right here in front of me, man. Now it was not time for me to lose focus. I had a challenge to complete and it was time we finally got the selfie. As you can see, Messi is directly staring at my camera right there. So challenge has been completed. Click the video on screen right here because it is a banger and you get good luck if you click it.